Hangouts is on air is live. Good morning. I am live. Let me get the chat open. I'll beat everybody here and have it already kind of humid and sweaty today. Let's see here. Oh, lovely YouTube. I love you. I know they're doing a bunch of updatings uh, on YouTube. There's a bunch of glitches right now, so just bear with them. Better changes are to come. Improvements, right? Okay, so I already pulled everything. It's in, if I'm pointing right, so I don't have the screen open. Let me pop out the chat. <clears throat> I have my coffee with my messy cup. As you can see, it's got like spills all over it. Um, let's see. Yeah, my bag right there. So typically I fill up a, uh, well, you can probably see it down here. Typically I fill up, well, not my legs, my legs. Typically I fill up this USPS um, shipping box full of my inventory, but it's full of stamps and stuff that I need to list. So I shoved everything in this bag. So literally I sold all that stuff, uh, each individual piece in there because I went to my Poshmark account last night and literally my finger was about to fall off because I was so tired and it takes a long time to do this. But <clears throat> if you will just at least um, every like month go and reduce the prices on some of your listings by only 10%, you offer your buyer a shipping discount, and who doesn't love a shipping discount, right? Who doesn't love a shipping discount when you bundle? Also, we sold a bundle, and the bundle specifically, 100%, I know it sold because I reduced the stuff. Why does the mouse keep getting put over there? I think my husband does it when my kid is on the computer and so I'm like looking for the mouse trying to get Poshmark all right I'm standing up are y'all ready good morning good morning morning good morning Madi G can't wait to see what sold she says yes ma'am um let's see oh I have good news anybody up for good news today my mom messaged me this morning. Uh, she works in the fields. Like she literally plants um, plants for a uh, nursery or like a farm where they sell stuff. Nancy's awake. Hello, Nancy. Um, so yeah, my mom's out there in the fields uh, planting vegetables and all kinds of good stuff. She's a certified nursery tech. She's proud of that. Um, she texted me and said she is ready to come back to work on Poshmark for me. Um, I do split my profits 50 50 with her. And <clears throat> last night I went in her closet and dramatically reduced everything in there by 10%. That's why my hand almost fell off. Um, and so I sold a lot of stuff in my mom's closet. I actually only sold two things in mine and one of the payments hasn't gone through yet. So I technically only sold one thing because the payment may never go through. You never know. Um, so we're going to open up Poshmark real quick and we'll go ahead and ship in my account real quick since I only sold technically one thing so far. And we'll knock mine out and move over to my mom's. <clears throat> so my mom was like, um, do you need money? Um, so if you do, just bring the book out and she'll like tally up what she owes me. And I was like, no, I'm good, mom. Isn't that nice to actually say that? I'm like, oh my gosh, mom, I'm not, I don't need money. Thank you, though. I'll wait and get a fat check from you when you, when you come over and you tally it all up, right? <clears throat> 
Okay, so anyways, I'm super excited. That's good news to hear that she wants to come back to work. And I was thinking, yeah, it's probably really hot out there and just keeps you busy and it's awesome making money. Um, so I actually, when did I reduce these? Let me click on them. Um, so these pants did not sell because of a result of me uh, reducing it. It says I haven't touched these pants in fif uh, 15. They sold for $15. Um, I updated them four days ago and I reduced them. <clears throat> the other thing I sold was a Calvin Klein dress for $20. But again, the payment has not gone through. So I'm waiting shows the girl hasn't logged in for like 14 hours so she's like definitely asleep or waking up pete and greta so a small bit of education for anybody <clears throat> i honestly did not know until i found this at the goodwill store and i googled it on poshmark pete and greta um it can be sometimes an anthropology brand, I believe is what it's called. Let me see what I have. Not all of them. So one time I had this listed or this brand listed as anthropology and I was live on YouTube and uh, Poshmark flagged it and was like, hey, this is not anthropology. You need to fix the label. So uh, Poshmark does recognize and have this name pre-filled in their account, Pete and Greta. So it's just some cargo pants. And I think I had two pairs of these. I actually sold one. What's up with the lighting, y'all? It's terrible. <clears throat> so look, at it's so cute. They have this embroidered little people here. I think it's probably definitely an organic material or cotton. Oh, look. It says it's 100% linen. I didn't even put that in the listing. Fail on my part, right? I should have put 100% linen. And then go figure I would measure it and not put the fabric. So, yeah. So they sold for $15. Giving me a profit of $12. So I probably paid about a dollar or less for these. So that's a good sale, right? I think so. <clears throat> I still need to order shipping labels. It's on my little list there. So these pants are going to WA. It's not Washington, right? Is it? I feel like a retard when I don't know the states. Uh, I don't think that's Washington. Maybe it is. So I'm changing it on Poshmark to a five by seven and I learned to click off a five by seven borderless and it shows a little bit more of the Poshmark postage label and five by seven borderless and then 75% shipping and it fits just great on the shipping label somehow, but it does cut off the top. Anybody else? able to print a full label unlike me on one of these labels. Maybe I should ask Gina. Gina sold something recently and she shipped it. I wonder how she did on her shipping label. Yard sale lover. Okay. My whole entire outfit, by the way, is from Goodwill. And yes, my shirt is wrinkled. I'm one of those people that don't really care. Um, I know some people are like, oh, you can't wear that. It's wrinkled. Well, I really don't care. So these shorts, you guys, like they're kind of career-like shorts, right? They fit me freaking perfect. 
And then I'm wearing some Tommy Hilfiger flip flops, right? And I totally got those at the bins too. So my entire outfit, except for my underwear, is from the Goodwill. Even my necklace, just not my earrings. So let me show you when I say it cuts off the label on the top. I'm not showing anything, right? So it's still cutting off a little bit, but I think it's showing more now. And I'm going to ship it in Tyvek because it fits good in there. It fits good in there. <clears throat> and again, I'm not going to use tissue paper. I'm not going to put a thank you note. Time is money. I have literally been getting comments on Poshmark. Wow, you shipped it already? I'm like, yeah, I shipped the same day typically, if not next day. I mean, I've been known to take four days on something if I can't find it, or I just want to wait <clears throat> until I get a couple more sales. Um, but typically, I ship same day. So there's one. <clears throat> All right, now we'll flop over to flop. Let's just flop right over to my account. Market shipped. Three easy steps to ship your order. Pack it, print it, and drop it in the mailbox. Okay, so that was not a result of price reduction. Maybe it was a couple days ago, four days ago. Um, but let's pop over to my mom's account and I'll show you what sold sold as a result of reducing stuff last night. I really don't think it's a certain time that you need to reduce stuff. I mean, definitely if you're up at 3 a.m. in the morning, like don't reduce all your stuff because half the world is asleep at that time, but then half the world is awake. I just go off of my central time. Um, and it works, I guess. Just be reasonable, you know? Try to make it a universal time where everybody is typically up. Then again, they say most women buy stuff on the weekend, like Friday night, Saturday night, because we've been drinking wine or something. And, you know, you get paid on Friday, right? Okay. <clears throat> First thing that sold, it sold on May 9th, which is yesterday, last night. I reduced these, actually, they were $15, and I think I thought of Gina on this, because Gina listed some shorts recently on Poshmark, and she already sold a pair, um, but the first item is, not a lot of stuff, but number 75, the 75th item she listed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, it sold for $12. It gave me a profit of $9, but I was like, hey, mom hasn't been working lately. Um, we haven't been getting any sales. She's coming back, of course, luckily. Now we know when, but um, let's reduce a bunch of stuff that's not selling and see what we can do. So I probably paid less than a dollar for this. And flipped it into nine dollars. Just some short summer shorts by American Eagle, right? Simple, basic brand. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get two labels printed real quick before I start stuffing these. So download shipping label. These are going to Pennsylvania to Colleen. Five by seven borderless, seventy-five percent. Okay. 
so that sold and let me show you the next item while we're waiting for these two labels to print out um the next item is a bundle and it's two items and she made me an offer and i was not going to resist it or even counter it i wanted the money i took it and i ran right uh some coveralls overalls and then a pair of pants she bundled them and offered me $24, giving me a profit of $19.20. And these overalls actually have a hole in them. And it's not even a popular brand. And they sold, well, Gloria Vanderbilt's okay, right? Um, I didn't realize that's the brand. But these sold for $18. And they're kind of like really old, you know, like, oh, what do you call it? I think it's stonewashed kind of look. Again, when I bought them, I didn't know they had a hole. I probably would have thrown these back. But to get $18 for these, and let me see. Well, they're kind of like Capri-like. I wonder if my mom put that. Hmm. Cut near the hammer holder. Okay, yeah, so these are listed as jeans and then overalls. I mean, you can kind of tell in the picture that they're a little shorter, but they go right about the ankle. So these are, they may actually really like the fact that these are kind of a summer style. We should have put that they were cropped a little. Um, but yeah, they're definitely like a Capri kind of crop, whatever y'all want to call it. That's what I call it. Capri cropped, whatever. So that sold for 18. There's my label for the shorts and let's print this label. The next item that sold was a pair of pants. Oh, you do learn? Good. Yeah. Did you learn that you can sell some, uh, Gloria Vanderbilt? overalls that even have a hole i'll show you the hole because it's no i didn't notice it when i bought it but it is there download shipping label this one's going to sherry in florida hello sherry oh and she was so nice you know how i said i didn't even counter her i took the money and i ran right after I accepted her bundle, two girls, after I accepted two girls' offers last night and today, they both commented on the listing and was like, thank you. And one of them was like, thank you for working with me or whatever. And I was like, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. So it's nice to be nice. All right. So the profit is $19.20. I probably paid a dollar each, so $19 minus $2, $17 is my profit. Uh, this one is the 29th item my mom listed. And I don't know, you can't see it, but there is dust all over the bags. Like we don't put lids on them. And in our West Texas weather, the dirt like literally blows um thank goodness we bag our items you've seen youtubers on youtube say yeah i don't bag my stuff well maybe they use a lid but if you don't use a lid you need to bag them if you're in my case because these are dirty from being in my garage um i was gonna say i have never heard of these the, this brand i can't talk today i'm in a hurry i really want to go back to the bins today and see if it's as dead as it was yesterday because we have a police officer now and I honestly feel like I even had the thought today that yeah a lot of people that probably have warrants or maybe felons may be coming to the bins as much because they can't get jobs and they work from home or um like I said in the other videos, no offense, but I do think that some of them don't have their green card. Um, but yeah, I picked up these pants and she bundled it with the uh, 
Gloria Vanderbilt. And the reason why I picked up these pants is because they are very cool, right? They have zippers. They're like that moto style. And I love the moto style where it's got lines right here on the knee. Um, but these also have holes. You can't see it because of the lighting, but they're distressed. So these sold for $18. And they are in perfect condition other than all the little white hairs. I'm not even going to remove all those because the person should wash these anyways. So typically I would get a lot of this fuzz hair off. You can't see it, but I'm not going to today because I just don't want to. Um, and she was very nice about me accepting her offer, so whatever. And it's not that much money, you know? So if this had been a way higher order, yes, I do treat my customers better for that as well. It's just how I do business. Okay. I feel like I'm talking too much. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to ship the shorts in a cardboard envelope because they're smaller. And I just folded them in half like that. And I'm just going to shove it in there. I could have used tissue paper for this, but again, it's a lower end order. I'm not trying to waste my time or the uh, the beautiful stuffing that I have. I got some leopard and stuff. I run out quick. So there's package number two. Nancy, that makes me so happy. But she said she learned so much. Um, okay, so we printed this label. Let me start the next label. I think I might list a couple pieces of jewelry with you guys after we do the shipping. I won't even start another video. Um, that way I feel a little more accomplished this morning before I go blow some money on some more stuff. Um, but I got a lot of really cool sterling silver jewelry right here. Brighton necklace. And that stuff I can knock out really quick for the most part. And that purse. I need to list that purse we carried in. Okay. So the bundle needs the Tyvek bag. Because you can fit like two or three pieces into the Tyvek. It's 11 by 15. You can get these for free at your post office. Gloria can be a little pricey. Yeah, honestly, I never pick up that brand. Um, just because, I, you know, I used to complain about I want to try to do sales that are $50 and higher. So for me, I don't see Gloria Vanderbilt being that high of a return profit. Maybe if it had new tags, but never have I found a new tag piece of Gloria Vanderbilt, right? Um, so I don't know. It, of course, they would have to depend on the piece and the style, but most of the pieces that I find that are Gloria Vanderbilt, again, are not going to get me over $25, you know, to $50 around that price or more. So I try not to pick it up just because I already have too much crap, you know? Like, I don't have enough manpower to even list all this stuff I show y'all on YouTube. That's why I have to flip it in a garage sale so fast, right? <clears throat> okay, and I'm just can't sit down and do it myself, right? Okay, so print that label. So fold it up one. Mm -hmm. 
So you know how you can, if any of you are, you know, Poshmark sellers, I've always considered to myself and thought, well, should I only offer the discount privately to the people who liked the listing or should I do it publicly? And honestly, I feel like I may hurt myself sometimes when I don't do it privately. Um, but I never do that. So I always offer it publicly and I reduce it to everybody. Um, cause I honestly feel like some of the times that I have reduced stuff, the people who had, uh, previously already hit the like button, I don't feel like they always buy. And sometimes I have sold to new likers. Um, so when I reduce it, somehow they just see it like in their news feeds or something or a couple girls just keep sharing it. So, um, yeah, I do not reduce my listings privately. Sometimes I may do that. Um, like, let's say I listed a Tory Burch purse for like way overpriced and I paid 75 cents for it. So let's say I list a Tory Burch purse for $150. If I get a couple girls that like it, yeah, I'll privately offer them $125 that same day, but I'm not going to reduce it publicly at least for 24 hours. So um, it's rare that I do offer discounts privately. Do it public, let everybody see it. Unless you just can't afford to reduce it. You know what I mean? That's just how I do my closet. And every time it always forces people to buy it because it offers a shipping discount or it's just a steal, you know? But I get it for a steal too. <clears throat> Man, you guys have no idea how perfect two pieces fit in here, and they're both denim, right? So, this is like my all-time favorite bag, as well as the first-class envelope. And honestly, I never feel like I have to add extra tape to these, because these bad boys always stick. It's just the cardboard that I tell you guys that you need to sometimes extra tape over, but this sucker is like, it's, it's on. It's good, it's good. <clears throat> okay, so next item, don't judge me on this, okay? You guys are gonna be like, whoa, that's a steal. It's still sold for $20, okay? Uh, let me print the label first. Do we need a new package? No, here it is. Oh, I already printed it. Yay. Okay, we're already ready then. Let me just start the next label then. And it's the last one. <clears throat> you have to also consider, consider hey, Tiffany. Uh, you also have to consider is that, that I'm not a patient seller like some of you. I do not like to hold inventory for a year, especially if it's only a $10 profit. Like, no thank you. I'll take my $10 today, not uh, in the winter. Um, and I don't want to wait full price for winter to come back either to... Um, sell it because we'll probably find the same thing next year, right? Flip it again. <clears throat> if I could name one thing that I've sold more than once and I've sold it twice, but I've seen it a lot, but it sells quick is a free people intimate. Uh, kind of looks like a tunic, but I sold it in two different colors. So 
I will always pick up this piece. Okay, 75%, five by seven, borderless. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Let's see, yes, all right. So we're gonna use a Tyvek bag because this is a plus size item. It's a 22 wide. And again, I kind of feel, I don't know, this just isn't a high profit margin, um, but it is $16, so that's a good, um, that's a good profit. Um, when I only paid, eh, I don't know, a dollar or two, I gotta weigh it, because it's pretty heavy a little bit. Or, <clears throat> I'm just curious if it weighed, it's the 490th item my mom listed. I'm not into pulling out the uh, saving bags today, right? So I only made $16 off this. Oh, I should have left the bag on. Yeah, it caught, it weighs two pounds, five point seven ounces, so probably two, three dollars, two fifty maybe. I don't know around that. Um, again, it sold for sixteen, so a profit only like fourteen or thirteen dollars on this. But look how beautiful it is! Like this beautiful cocktail dress, church dress, whatever you want to call it. It's silk sequin beaded, heavily embellished. Um, skirt it's a dress but it looks like a skirt so yeah sold that yeah it's beautiful for sure I love the nude tan colors I guess I still made a profit on it right Except I am giving half of that profit to my mom as well. So I didn't care. I think she made an offer. That was actually listed for um, $40. The lady offered me $20, you guys. We have not been making very many sales on my mom's account because she has kind of been a little, was a little sick. She's getting better. Um, and so I just needed the money and I was like, Pfft. You know, like, we'll just get new inventory up and start fresh. It's already been sitting, like, a month and nobody has bought it. So I took the first offer that came over. Oh, I'm going to have to refold this again. It is this brand Patra. And honestly, uh, well, I don't wear plus sizes, so maybe that's why... I don't know the brand, but I've never heard of this brand ever. It's so pretty. Hello, rose gold wings. Oh, yeah. Heavy, heavy. <clears throat> Fits perfect in the Tyvek. One more item. So let's see how much money is there in my mom's account. Let me mark that paid or shipped real quick. Hola, hola. I love how Poshmark hides the money. Like you have to go into my sales first and then you can see where my balance is. They totally try to hide that from people. Like I totally get it and I don't think it's right. Um, I mean, it's not hard to find, but still like everybody wants their money and they need to find it easily. Right? So yeah, you have to, click in well, on your desktop like you can't even see your balance until you click the word my sales 
So you can go like my closet, my purchases, my sales orders, the account settings. Okay. So from the stuff that we just sold, like I guess probably mostly what we're shipping today, we have a pending balance of only $78.30. And then we have a redeemable balance, meaning the order was shipped, delivered, and accepted by the buyer. No problems. Um, I am pushing over $27.20 in my mom's account, but I push over money every day. So this is just a kind of like a daily profit, I guess, in one day. So yeah, we would have only made half of $27. Well, if you have never sold on Poshmark, make sure you sign up with someone's referral link. Um, I have a referral link in the Dropbox below. If you do use someone's referral link, you get $5 credit. If you don't use a link, you get $0 credit. So that's basically free shipping on your first order. Yeah, I guess, Maddie, it would be nice. Uh, Maddie makes a good point. She says, uh, whoa, Rose Gold says, I need to get stuff listed. I just got a designer children's dress communion flower girl, and it's retailed at $1,498, and I got it for 10 bucks. Madi says, I wish Poshmark showed you how many views you get on items like eBay and Mercari. I like that. But you got to notice the difference here. Poshmark lets you see who your likers are, right? eBay doesn't. So I can totally private message anyone and be like, Hey, you want to do an off? You know, I, I never do this. I get mad when people even post it on my page. Do not come in at me with, will you accept PayPal? I will report your butt. Like, I'm a Poshmark only. Like, let's do this only in Poshmark. eBay, that's another story. I don't follow the rules, and I'm not going to lie about that. Um, I don't care. But um, Poshmark, yeah. So you can see who your likers are and offer them discounts for free. Like, that's awesome. Can't get better than that. The only thing I wish Poshmark would change for the most part that I can think of right off the top of my head is maybe to be more social because it's hard to find people. <laughs> Stellar all, oh, thanks. Well, I mean, this morning, crazily, I was in my mom's closet, you guys, and she listed a pair of men's jeans under women's. And like, we kind of butted heads about this about, cause I'm bossy, I'm a Leo, like that is in my nature, but I'm tr only trying to teach my mom and show her how it works. Um, but she listed these men's jeans that are 33, 32, and it even says Kings on the tag, right? And I like, they've been listed for over a month and I never saw that she had these men's jeans listed as women's and I just uh today she texted me and I was like yeah I'm gonna come back or whatever I was like yay or whatever and then I texted her the picture and I was like I laughed about it I wasn't being mean I was like hey I changed these from uh women's to men's and she texted me back like some people just they don't have the reselling mentality unless you have experience um not bashing at all. It's just, I mean, like even I get embarrassed online where I don't know certain colors. I may not know a, a like smocked, like who doesn't know smocked? I didn't know smocked. Um, but she texted me back, bless her heart. And she was like, well, some women like to wear men's clothes um, or something like that. She texted exactly, it kind of had a typo. It said, uh, she says specifically, didn't just put in women's because women buy. No, mom. 
I told her straight back, I said, if they like men's jeans, they will click men's. And these won't pull up. Okay, you cannot list men's jeans and put them under women. Like, they have to be what it says on the tag. Okay, end of story. And she was like, she was like, no problem. <laughs> like, and just silly little things like that we'll butt heads about. Um, but she was like, okay. Like, she doesn't want to argue with me about it. But I'm right. Like, you can't do that. Anyways, my mom doesn't like for me to tell her what to do. And I don't like people to tell me what to do. I get it. You know what I mean? So it's easy money, though. We can get over it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, last item. <clears throat> I'll see what I deal with here. Um, last item. This did sell because I reduced it. It is a stellar deal. Thank you very much. Bobby loves to keep on for that comment. Um, I reduced this last night in my mom's closet. It was probably listed 20 bucks or so and, or 15. I kept reducing it and it was at 15. I reduced it by 10%. So it was listed at $13. She did not get a shipping discount because she bought it this morning and the shipping discount was only good for one hour after you reduce it typically. Um, so the profit on this is $10.05. It's the 42nd item that my mom listed. So she will get $5 and I will get $5 and I only paid less than a dollar for this. So I'm okay with that. If I had thrown this up in a garage sale, I would have gotten $5 for it or maybe even three to $2. A beautiful anthropology staring at the stars. This bad boy should have went for like 30 bucks, but it never did. And again, I'm not going to wait till August to get the money for it. So I just kept reducing it. Need a paycheck. Friday's tomorrow, right? <laughs> so uh, this got me a profit of $10.05 when I only spent less than a dollar for it. So I'll take it. And it is going to a Joanne in... A state I don't know. W.I. So Wisconsin, maybe. Hey, Flippin' Hustler. Madi, okay. Rose Gold, just saw your message. Okay, so what shall we ship? I'm going to use tissue paper on this one. Oh, no. Fluffy. <clears throat> and I'm going to ship in the cardboard. Lighting is terrible. Again, all these envelopes are free at your local post office online or just walk in and pick them up. Just one tissue paper. You don't need three. You don't need four. You don't need two. You just need one. It is adorable, isn't it? Can't go wrong with anthropology. And some of these staring at the stars do go for good money, but not all the time. Oh, you can hear the hamster. She's getting water out of her water feeder. So I always shake it out and then fold it purdy. Oh, what did we name her? Storm. Everyone voted on YouTube, even like I said everyone, like two or three people voted on the video. So thank you very much for that. And all the votes on YouTube were Storm, or they put the word Stormy. So we, yeah, Stormy the Hamster, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we call her both Storm and Stormy. I moved her up here because the Blue Healer dog is would probably eat her if he wanted to. Hold on. 
she's out. Oh, wait. No, she went back in. She's Oh, there she is. She's so cute, you guys. She would not run in this uh, wheel for like the first week or two that we got her. So anyways, I voted along with Ryland that I wanted Storm. So majority rules, uh, my husband and my son had picked separate names. So nobody voted for their names. So they lost. Isn't she cute? I have spent like already $100 on this damn hamster. Like that's how special she is on all her food, her toys, extra tunnels. Yeah, there's a lot to a hamster I didn't really know. A lot. They only live for like a year or two, you guys. We're gonna be like crying here in a year because my hamster died. <laughs> oh, the future dirt hamster star, yeah. I totally wanna do some videos on her. I have one that I haven't uploaded. Maybe I'll upload it today. But it's real short. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we love our hamster. It's our first. <laughs> you're welcome. It's our first uh, cage pet ever. Like, we have never even had a fish yet. And finally, I broke down and I was like, I'm such a pet lover. We got to get something. So, it's cute. Both my boys love it. They're sweet with her. They fight over her. <laughs> It's so funny. Did I already print the label? I did. I'm trying to print the label again because Stormy distracted me. Yes. So thank you, all my uh, reseller friends who commented on that video. You know who you are. I don't want to say the wrong names, but I did have a couple votes. And you guys helped me and Rylan win because I know obviously I voted Rylan, so we already won. But I had more YouTube votes to back up our choice, right? It was like, you guys lost. Not one person voted for your name. It was Sheila or Sapphire? <laughs> like, what? It's like almost a stripper name, right? Sapphire? <laughs> Hey, Joss, I gotta say your name, Jocelyn Ignacia Setiani. Ooh, I like it. Oh no, is it Josie or I was gonna say Jose, but Josie. Oh, that's such a long name. I have two English cream golden retrievers and a long haired chihuahua. <laughs> that's so funny. We have a blue healer, a Pekingese. Pekinese, that is what she's called. And then we're getting a chocolate lab at the end of this month. You guys are gonna freaking fall in love with our new dog, Bogey is his name. We've already named him before he was ever conceived. But yeah, we're getting a new dog at the end of the month, hopefully. <clears throat> I wonder if Flippin Hustler's still here. Yeah, he needs to, or anyone else to. Oh, did I add the link? I think I have my Facebook link linked in the, uh... my nose is running. It might be because I have the incense going. Um, But to add me on my reselling Facebook page, that way if anybody ever goes live, I can private send you the link. Oh, ho. Uh, yeah, that way we don't have to post the Google Hangout links publicly, and it can be done privately. Uh, for anybody who's interested in going live, this is my page on um, Facebook, but I think I have a link in the, all my videos lately. Flippin' Hustler says he has one pit bull, one cat, three fish in this house. I grew up with pit bulls. I know all about them. They are the most precious dogs ever. I also had a golden retriever when I lived in Maryland. Oh, she was the best dog ever when I was little. I uh, anticipate, I plan on getting a golden retriever one day when I'm older. Older, yeah, definitely. I want to get another golden retriever. The golden puppy is the son of my big golden, Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Hey, maybe I'm having allergies because my eye keeps watering too. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. I'm going to list a couple pieces of jewelry in this video. Usually I uh, end it and start another one. Um, but I'm in a hurry. Again, I want to go to the uh, Goodwill pound store today. Um, I'm anxious to see again if the police officer is scaring away half the clients because, um, you know, a lot of people do not like to go around cops. You know, some people just don't like cops, right? Um, so yeah, I'm anxious to see how dead it is because yesterday when I went, it was super dead. Um, so that can only mean that I would find better stuff, which means there's less people. Um, but I just think it's kind of funny. I mean, I know that's mean, but not funny, right? Um, I'm going to go run these right outside into my mailbox. And then I'll be right back and we'll list uh, this Brighton necklace. I have a couple cool bangles. I like this copper one. Um, I have some James Avery and some sterling there. I have this Tory Burch bracelet. Oh, and I'm finally going to list this iPhone 6 on eBay. I probably will do insurance because I've never sold a good working iPhone before. I sell it for parts, but not new. And I have the receipt where we paid uh, $50 for a new battery. The old battery blew up in this phone and the entire case and the screen was like bubbled out. We thought this phone was ruined, but uh, Battery Joe put in a battery for free, tested it, said I didn't have to pay for the battery unless it worked. That's a score. So hopefully we'll get some money on that. I'll be right back. It's like I had a Red Bull today. If not, I need one. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five packages. One of them is a bundle. So we sold six things. Oh, it's so quiet. I can't hear nobody talking. <laughs> okay, I had to grab a tissue. Did I mark that last package shipped? Let's see. Nope, I did not. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mark the bundle shift either. Or the shorts? Are you serious? Okay, here we go. I never get how when you ship and pay for a postage label through eBay, they mark the item shipped immediately. That doesn't mean they took it to the post office and shipped it. That just means they paid for the label and they might lose it in their house if they're a hoarder. There's no way to mark it ship just because you pay for the label. I never get that. And I know that's a newer feature because it used to not be like that like a couple years ago. You used to physically have to mark it shipped like you do on Poshmark. Ugh. Rocky and Bella. Pound dogs. Ooh.
Who loves to give hugs? Violet? Who's Violet? <clears throat> my Chihuahua was a rescue, and my Golden, who sadly passed away in November, was from the Golden Retriever Rescue. Oh, there's a Golden Retriever Rescue. I'm sure there is. There's pit bull rescues, right? They have an appreciation for taking them in. They are special. Yes, they are special. I won't talk about this too long, but again, I used to live in Maryland, and so we lived off the Chesapeake Bay, which is like almost practically connected to the ocean. I think it is, whatever. Um, I'm not like a freaking genius sometimes. Sometimes I am. Um, but anyways, my golden retriever, so she was yellow and her hair's real long retrievers, obviously. She was golden yellow. We would take a stick and throw it into that Chesapeake Bay. And oh my God, this dog would go way out there into the Chesapeake Bay. Sometimes I thought she would never come back, you guys. She would get caught up in the waves. Oh my gosh, it was the scariest thing ever sometimes, but she always made it. She was like the best fetcher ever. And I don't think I've ever had a dog that can fetch as good as that <clears throat> in the water. So, wow, golden retrievers are freaking amazing. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, let's get to listing a couple things. That way your girl can go out shopping. I'm so excited. And I'm kind of excited to see what the police officer looks like. It's like I told Gina, like... I said, man, it kind of sucked because the police officer was kind of cute. So I couldn't stop smiling. And uh, I was like, but I mean, what man in a uniform is not cute? Like there's just something about a man in a uniform. You could be a chubby dude in a uniform and I would still look up to you and respect you for, you know, doing something good or whatever. You know what I mean? You get it. They love the water. They have webbed feet to swim. <clears throat> she would scare me though. Our dog would scare me because I literally didn't know she was coming back, you guys. Like she would get way out there. The poor thing, if she had gone, I mean, she was so far out there. Even if she had drowned, we would not have been able to rescue her. That's how scary it is. Yeah, scary, scary because the waves were so intense, uh, way out there, the current or whatever. See, I found this at the bins and it is a $40 thing that you hang in your house. And these sell on eBay too for good money. And it's brand new. And I paid like nothing for this. Isn't that cool? We will list that eventually one day, right? So my tray that I got at the Goodwill store, uh, works really great as a prop and a background for shoes, jewelry, like everything. So if I find more of these, I will probably pick them up, but it's rare that I find one that is like this. Usually I find metal ones that are tarnished like this bracelet here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and list the iPhone first. If anybody has any tips on that, uh, so what was I going to do? Insurance or I don't, I'm not going to do, okay, listen, I'm not going to do both. Like Gina said yesterday on something that I needed to add, uh, add insurance and require a signature. I won't be doing both of that, but I will do one of them. Which do y'all recommend? Anybody? <clears throat> Um, so yeah, where is it? It's a 64 gig, I think is what I wrote. iPhone 6. What if not you? Um, let me find the, I'll, I'll post my Facebook page. Cause I accept anyone on this page, just not my personal page. Just do mostly because of my kids or 
And I'm female, so just to protect myself, right? Uh, cancel. What? Why? Okay, here we go. No. Oh my gosh, it's trying to link some app to my page. Sorry, guys. A real estate app. Whatever, I'll just hit okay. Not now. I'm getting an error. Let me try Safari. Silly Chrome. Here we go. Aw, thanks, Pickers. He shared my video again like he always does. He's so freaking awesome. You can't beat friends like that, huh? Amazing, Pickers. Thank you. Um, okay. Here we go. How much do I want for the phone? I don't know. Um... My husband uses this for construction, so it's probably got a lot of like dust in it. So, I mean, it's, I'm not sure if he had issues with this or not. I will have to text him real quick. Where's my phone? I can't remember why he got a new phone. Um, 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 um. <clears throat> Is there anything wrong with this iPhone 6? with the new battery i had no idea that like those battery joe places that you can go buy an iphone battery isn't that cool for 50 bucks and then he i think he said it's 64 gigabyte hopefully he texts me soon <clears throat> So even that reselling page that I have that I posted in the comments, um, that's the page that some lady messaged me on locally and had a bunch of clothes and she like gave, sold them to me for like 20 bucks and I profited a lot just off that reselling page um, because I joined a couple eBay um, groups. And she saw that I was local. She, like, practically gave me stuff. Okay. I'm going to list this Tory Burch bracelet till he texts me back on just Poshmark because that's quick. I'll start it at 25, but I don't even think these sell for 25. Around that they do, maybe. So there's a the first picture. Did I miss any comments? Um, insurance has tracking. Well, it's going to be priority, so it's going to have tracking already. So why do I have to add insurance? Well, because it's over $50. It's definitely going to be over $100, Janie, for sure. Mooney, I think, for sure, because uh, she, she asked the price on the iPhone. <clears throat> literally one time I was driving down the road and I had a rose gold phone. I don't anymore. And I'm driving down the road and I see a rose gold phone on the side of the road and I pick it up. I pull over cause I'm ghetto like that. It's like literally on the side of the road, like by the curb. So I know I see it's an iPhone. So I pull over and I sell that sucker on eBay, no doubt. And it had like been smashed up and everything. So yeah, you can sell broken iPhones all day long. But luckily this one's not broke, I guess. <clears throat> Did you find me yet, Flippin'?
Okay, so what is this? A TB for Tory Burch wrap bracelet, which I don't have to put that, but um, mom, mom, mom. I can put maybe the word stud because it kind of has like some stud look. Stud or studded. Cool. Awesome. That's how I send invites to uh, yard sale lover Gina also. So this is pre-owned, no flaws. I'll just put that. Um, and I'm going to put that this fits any size wrist because it has two different connectors. And it's a wrap. <clears throat> All size wrists. I guess universal, right? Or one size fits most. One size fits most. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> okay, so jewelry, bracelets, size, oh, it's one size, brand, Tory Burch. Just even listing something with the name Tory Burch will get you a lot of followers on Poshmark. They will just start flying in. Why is my battery already dead? Going low. Um, $25 would get me a profit of 20 and I pay, I got this in a jewelry bag for $20. So if I can sell this for 20 bucks, I will make all the money back. Right. Except I got those earrings. Um, and I already listed those on eBay. Let's go check out eBay and see if I have any watchers. Oh, Flippin' Hustlers says uh, the citywide sale starts tomorrow. He is super excited. Golly, that does sound exciting. So I relisted that skull bracelet that I talked about yesterday in the video, and I already got another bid when I listed it correctly. If you didn't see the video, it's from yesterday. <laughs> Um, nope, no watchers on my earrings. Oh, and no watchers on my pie spoon for $59.95 plus five shipping. Oh, I don't even have any watchers or bids on my flip phone yet. Listed that yesterday. Come on. Okay. So this is done. I'm going to grab a bag. Start a little Ziploc bag full of jewelry listed, right? Okay. So anybody know how much broken Fitbits go for? Let's look it up on eBay. Let's put fit bit for parts, right? Parts. I don't see anything. And did I even spell it right? I think I did. It's one word. I put two words. Apparently. Oh, look, four parts, Fitbit charge to, I don't know what kind mine is. Oh, mine is like an older one, huh? That screen is little. No wonder. Ew, yeah, there's one that sold for $250 plus $4 shipping. I love the rummage sale at the Catholic churches. I get amazing things for practically nothing. <clears throat> Ooh, there's one for five seventy four. I don't even think this is worth my time. Yeah, we're gonna throw this in a garage sale pile, you guys. Okay, so I do. Oh, where did I put it? Did I dream it? <laughs> no, I didn't dream it, Heather. I was trying yesterday to find this necklace display, so. I know my lipstick's crazy. There it is. 
and I remember it's up here. I got this at the Goodwill for like two bucks. Wait, wait. I was looking for it yesterday. So I was going to see if the Brighton necklace would look better if I didn't have dust all over this. Gross. Let's try my new... Oh, it's down here. Where is it? Here it is. This thing, I got it at the Goodwill. I guess I'll help review it, review it, review it for y'all. Uh, let's see how well it works. So you can't see, but there is a bunch of dust on here. Oh, yeah, see? Dirt and dust. I think those are fingerprints. We're going to see if this fur fighter works. Hair removable refill sheets. I don't even know how this works. Uh, to open, push one button in and pull cap. Why just one button? You don't squeeze both? And then what? Place one micro trap gripper sheet face down on a flat sur- Oh, that's easy. Oh, I don't know if I'd call it fun or not. Junk trader, it's so much fun. I clean house. This is cool. Very easy to apply. So, you just lay this flat down for anybody who finds this and doesn't have the instructions, right? And then I think you just roll this on here. But let's see. Here's the instructions. So, you want it to come up on the top. Place one micro trap face down. Attach the back side of the micro trap gripper sheet to the bottom of the handle, ensuring the entire bottom surface of the handle is covered. Brush over furniture in any direction to pick up pet hair. When finished, peel off and dispose of the micro trap gripper sheet to discard pet hair and dander. So why the heck do I need to open this? It doesn't trap the dirt inside of it. What the heck? Nowhere on here does it say you need to open this. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to go get your hair done? All right. I go on the 21st. I'm so excited. Ew, which side is... Yeah, okay. So, oops. This is weird. It doesn't even, it's too long. So, let's just see, right? Well, that doesn't work very good at all. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't work. No wonder somebody donated it. It'll work on my couch, but not on clothes, you guys. It's taking off only the big pieces and not the little pieces like it should. Oh, the internal antenna is jacked up. Okay. Man. You're going to get your hair did. <clears throat> works intermittently so i will auction off the phone on ebay and hopefully and actually my grandpa is apparently some kind of antenna geek antenna he worked for like the spies in the war back in the day i don't even know if i'm supposed to say that but yeah i got tape right here some antenna guru will probably fix the antenna internally on this iPhone. And then they'll flip it and resell it. If you put a SIM card in it, it appears to work just fine, but the service is hit or miss. That's what I needed to know. Oh, stop. I guess it doesn't matter. It does 
this one. Oh yeah, baby. That's way better. Huge fail. And what is this? Like you gotta trim off the excess? Like it's, <laughs> that's too big. It doesn't even say to trim off the excess. It's retardo. Yeah, this tape works way better, except my packing tape would have worked better than this cheap post office tape, but whatever. I'm like super, super picky about my pictures. I cannot stand lint or hair or anything to be in the background. Like it's got to be like clean. Okay, so I'm going to list this Brighton, but I really want to list the iPhone first. So we're just going to prop this up, set it aside. Oh, it looks so pretty, you guys. Look at how gorgeous it's going to look on the pictures. Cool. I'm glad I bought this. I've had some before, but they were probably half in size. I really like how this is a long one. Um, it's super good, super good. He says I can probably sell it at a store. I'm just gonna auction it off on eBay. You know, I really should. <sighs> okay, I lied. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna take this phone to the AT&T store and just see if they'll give me the $100 credit for it. I don't know. I know. Well, no, because <laughs> well, no, I paid $50 for the battery. Screw that. We're just gonna list it. I guess I'm gonna throw this thing in a garage sale because this thing, I don't need this. This is just extra junk and hoarding stuff clutter like i don't need this this is actually two packs actually someone bought two of them and i combined them into one and it fits just great so i wonder if i could sell this on ebay so basically it just picked up the black velvet off of my thingy <clears throat> Booby clean. True story. It's got marks all over it. <clears throat> okay. I am going to shoot a picture of the battery receipt proving that we spent. And the auction will be worth at least $54. So I'll probably start the listing at, I don't know, I'm going to start it on a two day auction at like $99. And maybe I'll charge like $9.99 shipping, maybe. We'll see. I'll just see how it goes. So sell list. So we have a iPhone. Six, so we get sixty four GB gigabyte cell phone. Use tape, yeah, yeah. I read the old comment, sorry. Cell phone, and I'm going to put the word parts, and then I'm going to also put the word works because it does work intermittently. Intermittently. <laughs> Okay, and I don't like to do their listings because sometimes when I try to save it, it's like, nope, you can't use that feature because one was buy it now and I want to do an auction and I can't tell what these are even listed as. Just the description, huge fail on eBay's part because um, nowhere on here does it say it without me having to click into it if these are auction or buy it now. Because again, when you try to save your listing as an auction and you did a sell similar as 
buy it now. Sometimes I won't let you do it. So start new and I'm going to put her parts are not working. And then we're going to take the photos. Camera. Hello, camera. Okay, so. I was going to cover up, yeah, I was going to cover up, like, the ticket number, at least. Hey, Monica. I have, I got to bring this up here in just a second. After I get done with these pictures, I'll tell y'all here in a second. Okay, so we got the receipt in there. Take that. I'm going to try to um, take a good picture of the screen, which I actually have a cloth cover right here. Ooh, it's kind of dusty. Yeah, I'm gonna do the gross like breath thing, okay? So gross, right? That's a pretty good screen. I guess he had the cover on it always. He took good care of it. It's so funny. It's reflecting like the computer, all the chat, and all of my background. I'm like, get out of my picture. <laughs> like, it's doing everything, like reflecting. It's so perfect condition, right? I really can't. There we go. I'm going to just say, like, there's no minimal to no scratching. Well, Michelle, Monica, I was going to say Michelle. <laughs> I'm thinking of Michelle Volkman. I haven't seen her today. I think she's one of our watchers. I thought that's who you were. Monica, I am just listing a couple things before I go out shopping. Did that come out clear? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, iPhone 6, 64 gigabyte cell phone parts work, working, okay, working, <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to go into a huge detail, the less you say, the better, and people can't hold things against you, like, you said this, you said that, like the watch I sold, that's in the video yesterday, um, what's it? the guitar brand uh, watch that I sold. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna do voice activation. Hey Monica, were you talking about this one? Or were you talking about the seashell? I was wondering if you were talking about this one because I did bring up you in the video, a video recently. Can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before. Um, but yeah, I couldn't tell if you were talking about this one or the other one. So both of them are plastic and wouldn't amber be more of like a glass or ceramic, uh, or like the type where if you dropped it, it would shatter. 
These are just straight up plastic, really cheap. This one? Well, I don't think it's amber because this one is plastic, but if you look at the back, it's like burnt. And it's like it's like someone burnt. Hey, Flip and Hustler, like someone burnt something on the back of this to make it look like crystally. Oh, amber can feel like plastic. Hmm. I was hoping that you were not going to say. I was hoping that you were not going to say that it was the shell because I totally think I donated the shell. And I was like, I was like, F bomb. Like, no. Tree sap. It does look like tree sap. You are absolutely. So it's not amber, right? Please tell me it's amber, right? <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Is it really tree sap? Well, I can tell you that this looks real silver or that Navajo silver that someone had said in a, a recent video. This silver setting, yeah. Aww. Madi says she used to collect rocks and minerals, uh, but it's hard to tell from here. Monica, it's not amber, right? Because it's got the tree sap on the back. Yeah, literally, I almost flipped out when I saw your comment about the amber. I was like, no, Heather, you didn't just donate the shell that was amber, dummy. <laughs> no, I don't think. I'm pretty sure this shell was plastic. I've seen that. Yeah. So the ones with the bugs in it or uh, the scorpions, are some of those real amber? Oh, go have it checked out. Ew, yeah, because my husband was telling me to go get those vintage gold glasses checked out. I looked up those glasses I found, you guys, and they only sell for like $20 online. But my husband was like, well, just go have them tested, Heather. It's right down the street. Um, so maybe I will take this with it. Thank you for coming back and letting me know. Awesome. Oh, cool, Casey. Yeah, it's real pretty. Like, uh, the sap on the back kind of gives it like some gold like glitter gold in there um i will it definitely doesn't have any markings on the side but i knew that i was concerned i did not donate this piece it was in the garage sale you guys and nobody bought it so it must not be amber unless i just really didn't have any good yard sale shoppers that knew what they were doing um but I knew personally that this is for sure a like Navajo silver or possible real sterling silver. So I knew like, no, you don't donate this kind of stuff. So, okay, I'll put these with the, uh, <clears throat> with these glasses. Cause I was gonna take, um, like I found this at the bins and it's full of diamonds and it's on a gold chain. But I have a couple gold chains, um, but I was going to take a bunch of gold um, and go get these looked at because these are 12 karat. But again, these 12 karat glasses, you guys, I think they only sell for like 20 bucks. So we will see. I will add this with my collection and take some of my jewelry to the jewelry guy. I don't know, today or tomorrow maybe? <clears throat> Thanks guys. I will, I honestly did not know that amber could be like plastic. Um, and I did not know anything about that. That was freaking tree sap resin. That is like the all time best education you guys could have given me. Um, and I think this long ass video was totally worth it. Even if I don't sell anything that I'm listing. Um, thank you so much for that. You guys and everyone else that may have heard it as well. 
So pre-owned. Phone does work. Period. <clears throat> Antenna has some problems. Works intermittently. So glad I did voice activation on intermittently. Um, Antenna has some problems. It works intermittently. I'll just leave it at that. What else did my husband say? Let me see. Um, okay, I'll copy exactly what he said. Copy. If you put a SIM card in it, it appears to work just fine, but the service is hit or miss. So I'll just paste that in. And I'm going to put in the description, sold as is. Okay, so the brand is iPhone, I guess. Sell the glasses separate from the case. You'll maximize your money. I think that is an awesome idea because that case is real leather. And it's cool. It's really cool. Um, that was a super helpful tip, Monica. You need to come back more often, girl. <laughs> I love you. Uh, good tips. Come on, iPhone. Or, oh, it's Apple. What an idiot. Yeah, so much faster. Yeah. Except I have that Texan accent. So it's half the time she doesn't type what I want her to. Like, Apple does not recognize the word as tech, so it will never type as tech for me. <laughs> it drives me crazy. As tech, Siri, and she won't do it. Like, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. See how long it's taking me just to list a freaking phone on here? What color is this? This is gray, right? Or silver? <clears throat> is that, do they call these phones gray or silver? I can't remember. I think it's silver. Yeah, they don't call it gray, right? Ooh, I don't know the network. Let me ask my hubby. Oh, uh, I think it's AT&T. Platinum silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Monica. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I forgot to put in the eBay listing. And I'm still in there. What am I talking about? I forgot to put that I paid $54 for a battery. Duh. Okay. Come on. Cellular brand. I don't know. Where did you get manufactured? In China? Designed by Apple in California. So is it made in California or is it made in China? Does anybody know? Hi, Todd. Sorry, didn't see your message. Who's Todd? Where's Todd? <laughs> I don't see Todd. Where's Todd? This chat slows me down, you guys. I'm like so interested to see it. It's kind of fun, right? I don't see Todd. Or is that Flippin' Hustler? That is Flippin' Hustler, isn't it? Platinum. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a Todd. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> it took me a minute to remember. I mean, I hadn't even talked to you in like a week or something live that is is this phone manufactured in china or yeah it says designed by apple in california assembled in china so it's made in china though right is that right 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> he says the cell phone is unlocked. It won't work on Sprint. Will I get in trouble if I put that? Is that illegal that you unlock a cell phone? Does anybody know? Crap. Should I put that? Is that okay? <laughs> My husband will know. I'll have to ask him. Um, I'm just going to put China, you guys. Nobody's helping me here. <laughs> China. Hey, is that even legal that it's unlocked? Oh, oh. I gotcha. Um, I was going to ask you something else. Not the gigabyte, but something else. I'll probably text it to you. Hold on, no, I think eBay was asking a question. Let me look. Oh, does it have a Sims card in it? Oh, that's fine. I didn't check it. I'm not turning it on since it's good, but okay. That's all I needed. Um, okay. Hopefully YouTube didn't hear through that, but okay. Okay, that's all I needed. Love you, bye. I didn't want to text all that. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, backtrack here. So what do you say? Factory unlocked. He told me the password, and you can kind of hear it through the thing. I was like, well, hopefully YouTube doesn't hear your password, but I don't think it shows up some softer noises. Uh, factory unlocked does not work with Sprint, but works with other companies, other services, right? Um, other thing was no SIM card. Okay, got it. open the back take a pic oh yeah yeah i forgot well i don't know how to open these bags i'm not even gonna open it i'm just gonna do it. that's a good point monica but i hate how you can't like open these very easily you have to like unscrew it i think she says open the back to heather and take a pic with the battery in it and you'll see if there is a yeah it doesn't have a sims card i need to call my hubby Okay, um, 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 yeah, I don't know much about phones either, Casey Lakeman. Again, this is the first, like, practically almost working good phone that I've ever listed on eBay. The ones I list are for parts only, um, and they're usually only 30, 50 bucks. So, all right, I'm going to start this out at $99 for 10 days, auction it off. And if that's too high after the auction ends, I will relist it with a lower price. I'm hungry. It's taking all my energy, right? I'm still going to charge, like, what did I say, $10 on the shipping? <sighs> okay. And instead of saying first class, I will do priority for this bad boy. We want our tracking for show. Sure. Yeah, the memory card. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have. Oh, yeah, the memory card. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I will offer local pickup. Yes, I do. Love it. 
Man, that took forever. Okay, um, so, oh, did it, let's see what Poshmark's going on. Yay, that chick's payment went through for my $20 Calvin Klein dress. I need to ship it. I don't hear the mailman yet. Um, let's see, I think I'll list a couple more things and then we'll end this video. Um, but I really want to share something that is <laughs> going to be helpful to somebody. I know it will be because I got suckered into this twice on Facebook. Um, this is just a helpful off the wall, like not a reselling kind of thing. But this did cost me money and I got ripped off twice. Um, so the first case was I got suckered into those girls, you know, that sell like wholesale and they sell clothes on Facebook and they have groups and stuff. Well, last year they had these, uh, what's this? looks like a scar on my, it's from having my arm on the table. I do not have a scar there. Um, so I got suckered in last year to buy these, uh, mosquito repellent bracelets that were so cute. Um, I bought like three of them. They charged me probably, I don't know, six or nine dollars or ten dollars each. Well, I learned that you can go buy those on eBay for like a dollar or two, right? So that's that story. I learned off of that case. Well, then I got suckered into it again. Except this time it was not a like group or it wasn't my friends. This was an advertisement on Facebook. And it was on Earth Day, which I think was this month, right? I think it was Earth Day. So there was an advertisement ad that said, can you imagine how many toothbrushes are in the landfill that are plastic, right? Well, the ad said that you can get your bamboo organic, more earth friendly toothbrush um, for $5.99. It's actually free. You just pay the $5.99 shipping, right? No. I paid $5.99 for this toothbrush from this company I saw on Facebook, you guys. Totally got suckered into it. I went on flipping, freaking eBay and purchased 10 of these for less than $10. Like I got ripped off so freaking bad, you guys. Like don't do it. Do your research, okay? I thought I was doing good. I thought I was doing good for the earth and everything, right? So if you go to the, I even shared this on my personal Facebook page, right? I just can't get over this. I'm um, like bringing tears to my eyes, how bad I got ripped off. Okay. Yeah, really sell them. Um, I love this toothbrush, you guys. It's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Cause the <clears throat> natural grocers where I've been starting to get my toothbrushes from, they're really rough and they hurt my teeth and they're still plastic, but they're recycled. Yeah, right? So I paid $5.99 and I got my toothbrush in the mail. It arrived fast, but I ordered 10 from eBay for the same price. Right here, let me show you. I do have to wait two to three weeks for them to get here. But I paid my $12. I bought three of these. So six times three is how much? Do the math. Then I went back on eBay and spent another $10. So totally worth it because the two brushes at the natural grocers are like six bucks. Let me show you all my listing that I bought. And the China seller has already shipped them. Is it China or where is it coming from? Oh no, it's coming from, I think it might have been California. Let me look. Oh yeah, it's China. Well, look, 10 toothbrushes for ten for $9.74, you guys. 10 of them. 
what the heck? Beware of Facebook ripping you off because I got suckered into it and I am a freaking sucker for getting the cheapest deals and I got ripped off. So there's my vent about that. That's a whole video in itself, isn't it? I should totally do a YouTube video about that because I still have the crappy bracelets that I bought that don't even smell like uh, insect repellent anymore. RMA shop. Madi, is that you, Madi? Posh ambassador? Sellers rule by low, sell high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> I got my blood kind of going, didn't it? Okay, let's let's just brighten. Freaking ripped me off. Lavender. Yeah, it was a uh, lavender and lemongrass and it was supposed to, it's filled with oil on the inside but you can't even smell it really anymore it's not gonna work and it's not refillable you have to <laughs> maybe she says <laughs> oh lordy okay <clears throat> Ooh, we got like a sun ray beaming off of it, kind of. Oh, why am I in Poshmark? I kind of want to put this on eBay. There's only one of these listed on eBay, one or two. Then there's only one on Poshmark. Maybe I have them backwards. Luckily, this necklace is not overly saturated. And that's crooked. Fill a spray bottle with water, add drops of lavender oil with a little drop of dish soap to kill them. I'm so shocked everyone has been saying that lavender really does... Uh, repel mosquitoes, but I was all about uh, lemongrass. Nobody ever talks about le lemongrass. Um, I will have to test it out. You guys, I'm O negative blood, so I read that mosquitoes like O negative blood more than the normal common um, blood, so I'm going to test it out, and I will be a proven witness to figure out this summer because I now sell the oils. I have lavender and I have lemongrass from doTERRA. So I'll do a research by golly gee, and we will figure out which one works better because I can't wait. I cannot wait. I assume that lavender does work because I've had several people tell me that and I didn't know that. This isn't working out for me. Oh, negative, yep. Come on. I'm ready to get out of here, but I'm, I guess I'm going to have to get a smoothie because I'm hungry. I'm going to, like, skip lunch and just grab some small snacks and take it with me to the bins because it's hard to get out of there before 4 o'clock when I have to go get my kiddo. Yes, I do. I have referral links in the uh, all my videos below, Rose Gold Wings. Yesterday, I did a free unboxing from a diffuser that I got completely free. And I think it was Casey Lakeman who asked me the price. I did look it up. They were $20. And I have to tell you guys, that is a very good diffuser that they sent me. It's just like the one that I use at home just not as big so it's like a 200 mil and it was working like all afternoon for when my kid got home from school so his room smelt really good <laughs> bye from heather <laughs> you know you're okay you're good one leg with one leg with lemongrass and one leg with lavender yeah <laughs> 
And you know what's cool is they like to go down to where my feet are because they like stinky odors, so they like my feet. I'll have to be sure to put uh, lavender on one foot and <laughs> lemongrass on the other foot, too, and see which one works. So funny. Oh, this is not working. I can't deal with the black. Maybe that's why they got rid of this, because it's not good to take pictures on black with fuzzballs. <clears throat> I wonder if there's an oil that can repel. Yeah, we don't have fleas. We've never had a flea problem here. I don't know why. Just ticks. Yeah, is there like an oil I can use for ticks and then flies? I need an oil for flies and ticks. My dogs do get ticks. We literally have to buy like vet grade tick treatment. Crazy. We don't have, we do not have fleas, but we do have ticks. Works for fleas. Cool. Thanks. Or do you do doTERRA too, Monica? Or do you do like Young Living or anything else? I guess I'll measure how long the necklace is. Um, yeah, so I do have the diffuser referral link below. I should probably link my bigger diffuser that I really like to. Um, just keep in mind, I do have my doTERRA oil link listed. They are expensive, but you get what you pay for, and it's digestible, so it's a high grade. Oh, just a natural hippie chick. Yeah, I keep saying, like, the older and older I get, I feel like I'm getting more hippier. Have a Rendon day. Rendon Day, ladies and gents, I'm rolling out. What the heck is a Rendon Day? I don't even know what that means. I've studied a lot of natural stuff because you hate chemicals. Aw, I love it. How did you find my channel, Monica? Through the oils or through reselling? I think you're a reseller, aren't you? Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to put... Uh, three charm necklace. Uh, is it it turns or moves? Do y'all is there a word for that? Anybody where it turns? It's so cute. I love it. I put uh, it's spirit, mind, and body. It's got like a saying in each one: spirit, mind, and body. Spirit, comma, mind, comma, body. Jewelry haul search. Yes, reseller picker since I was 10, 53 now. See ya, Todd. Have a random day. Great day. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know what random meant. <laughs> like I didn't know, uh, not floral, but flora. I didn't know Flora was a flower. <laughs> okay. Pre-owned, no flaws, like new. <clears throat> Where's jewelry, 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 necklaces, um, turning charms, Ooh, turning... Bye, Marty. Oh, he's saying bye to you. That's my last name. Oh, Rendon. Oh, that's so funny. That's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now going, he says. Okay, bye now. Good luck tomorrow if I don't talk to you by then. Oh, congrats on the giveaway. I don't think I signed up for it. I wanted to. 
I think I clicked on one of his live streams and nothing was there. And then I went back to the channel and then it was good. And then I had to go live and I don't think I ever went back to go. I don't know. I missed it, but I'll let y'all do with the giveaway. I got too much junk, right? <laughs> uh, turning hearts. I wanted to put floating, but I don't think it's floating. <clears throat> Color is silver and gold. Oh my gosh, I want to go to the lake so bad this weekend. I told my husband, I was like, can we please just go for a couple hours? <laughs> I was like, I mean, we can go get our fishing license. And he was like, Heather, our fishing license is still good from last year till August. I was like, even better score we've never really used it we pay for fishing license and then we never go fishing i think we went like one time and it was just me and the kids so i listed the necklace for 45 it's kind of high but you know me i list high and reduce it gradually <clears throat> I'm going to be traveling and picking, vlogging my journey and doing interviews with other YouTubers. Are you going to come travel to Texas? Are you going to Austin or Lubbock or what? I can't wait till some other YouTuber comes to my town and I get to go hang out with them and do a video. <laughs> we fish too. We have a boat. We used to have a boat or two and we sold them. <clears throat> it's awesome. I need a boat. Yeah, when I was little, I got to fish uh, at the Baltimore, you know, at the Chess at the ocean, Chesapeake Bay, and all that with my grandpa. I miss it. What is this? The powder horn. Let's look it up on eBay. Sabona, London, made in the USA. It's got a regular number or a registration number. Yeah, they are a lot of work, and it's very dangerous. If you want to have a beer or two, you can get a DWI driving a boat. Oh, are you going to the meetup in Austin then in June next month? I'll be there. Sounds like you're going to Austin in June for the Bonafide and Rakens meetup. <clears throat> I'll be there, girl. <clears throat> Um, well, I'm looking for a female that wants to split a hotel room with me, right? Oh, you'll miss it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'll be here. I can only travel to Austin. I barely even know if I can make it to that, but I'm going to drag myself there. Um, oh, yeah. That's awesome, Rose Cold. <laughs> Super awesome. Okay, let's look this up. Oh, y'all do a ride along. Nice. He is hilarious. I haven't seen his videos in like a week or so, but man, he is super hilarious. I love him. Uh, June 6th, 7th, 8th, I think. 6th, 7th, 8th, maybe ish. June 6th, 7th, and 8th. <clears throat> okay eBay it is. Let's look up this brand. Sabona London. Sabona. Sabona. It's $200 too, I believe what I heard. Sabona London. 200 bucks. Yeah. That's what I heard last time. Oh, look, it has Sabona on the outside. Oh, man, my legs were crossed and it hurt. Okay, and then I'm going to put copper. Do you call this a cuff or a bracelet? I'm going to put a bracelet. I think it's a bracelet, right? Same thing. And they don't sell for a lot. I do better just, ooh, 15, 29, 18, 24, 8 I just, there's a vintage signed 
for 22, <clears throat> I might as well just list it on Posh. Freaking eBay fees are crazy. Yeah, screw that. Okay. Oh, I didn't put the powder horn. Hold on. What is the powder horn? I don't know what that is. Where are we at? Where are we at? The powder horn. Oh, 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 yeah, I know. One of them sold for $4, just like mine. I'm better off getting more money. 20 bucks on Poshmark. Maybe. It'll probably go in my garage sale for like 2 bucks. I don't know. I love this tray. Sometimes it's really convenient. Uh, no. <clears throat> I feel like I got ripped off with this iPhone 8 Plus. I had a 7 Plus and I upgraded. I actually paid cash because um, I wasn't eligible for an upgrade because I had one of those oil floating glitter cases. It busted and ruined my iPhone 7 Plus, which I need to list that too and sell it. Um, but I'm going to sell that one on Craigslist. Uh, the, the camera on this is like shit compared to my iPhone 7 Plus. You'd think if you got an iPhone 8 that it would be way better, but no. When I take pictures, half of the time it comes out blurry. And because I either moved and used to, if I, it didn't matter if I moved, it would still take the picture pretty good. But now, no. I have to uh, retake my photos quite often because apparently I move when I shoot it. It's retardo, right? Sabona London, never heard of it. Sabona Lon London. I did not say Sabona Loan London, just London. I know she heard me. Copper. And what else? The powder horn, whatever that is. The powder horn. I don't know. Cool, cool. Yeah, that would be fun. <clears throat> Pre-owned, no flaws. And instead of typing measurements, I'm just going to take a picture because y'all know me. I don't know how to read a tape measure unless it's inches or half an inch. <laughs> I don't care. And I don't want to learn either. I <laughs> like, don't want to learn. Like, I always brag about I love learning new stuff. But, like, math, I refuse to want to learn it. Get a paper towel, roll the wrap in tissue paper and material cloth for bracelet picks. <clears throat> yeah, and I have that up there, which I should be using to display my stuff. Or a pool noodle. <laughs> See, I just took a close-up of the tape measure. Now, there's no way they can say that I measured it wrong, right? Because <laughs> there it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, jewelry. Bracelets. Should I put the word cuff? Is it a cuff? Kind of? Cuff? Maybe? Size, one size. Brand is Sabona, I guess. Sabona, London. I wonder if Poshmark will re recognize it. 
Nope. Sabona. 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 Color. Oh, is that orange? I think that's orange. Maybe. Looks orange to me. I'm just going to list this for 20 bucks, giving me a profit of 16. I think this was in my $20 jewelry bag. Yeah, that's super exciting. I am so glad I've been listing in my account and not my mom's. Hate when I have to restart. Copper color, yeah. Okay, so we got three pieces of jewelry, plus I listed the iPhone. You know what? I'm going to list this fork because I'm irritated that it's been sitting here. Um, it's a, just a vintage fork. And if you look up the comps on these, I think they sold for 20 or more. Maybe even a little higher. I can't remember. I looked it up like a month or two ago. That's how long I've had this. So I'm going to list this fork. Even though I still have bracelets to list. Let me get those up. Oh, not Poshmark. Hello. We don't list vintage stuff like that on Poshmark. Okay, start over. I'm going to look for this fork. Vintage three prong fork with wood, right? Search. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm already seeing. <sighs> Sold. <clears throat> Oh, they're not selling for that much. Well, same one as mine. Like one of them sold for five bucks plus six shipping. It won't cost seven dollars to ship that though. It'll cost three. Man. Thought I had I also created a Facebook photo folder with jewelry and items for sale now that we can get payments on Facebook. Oh, in the Facebook Marketplace? Is that what you're talking about? No fees to list on Facebook? And how do they pay you on Facebook? Through Poshmark? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know if I want to sell this. Oh, we'll just do it. I'm just going to list it real quick. I'm going to do sell similar. So sell one like this. Yeah, you shouldn't have to create a separate account. You should be able to just do it on yours. Unless you don't want people to look you up like say you have a bad deal that goes bad and i mean if you're worried about that you don't want people stalking or i don't know i don't know that was a terrible picture let's just take some more Facebook sends a payment, it goes to your PayPal. So how do they not take out fees? How do they not take out fees? Mm -hmm. 
vintage fork up for grabs. That's it. Uh, auction, we'll do 10 days. <clears throat> auction start, I'll just do $5.95 and I'll put $5 shipping. It pays like a gift payment, but that's not even legal. Like, how does Facebook get away with that? Like, they have an agreement with PayPal or what? That's so weird. Good to know, Monica. Thanks for that education. I guess I missed that along the way. Scottish paint like a gift payment. All right, I'm going to list this. I've had this forever. It's been in my jewelry box and it's tarnished. I just really loved it. And it's a 925 silver. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Navajo kind of style, but it's the rope thing. Um, it's bent a little bit, or just bent it better. But yeah, I'm gonna auction this off. Don't know, it just works. She says, <laughs> don't know. <sighs> After these bracelets, I'm out of here. I gotta get out of this house. Okay, eBay again. Um, let's just go to sell, selling, list an item, 925, sterling, I'm just going to put sterling. Um, bracelet? I guess it's kind of like a rope. Yeah. Dunno. Why? You want me to say it like a meskin? <laughs> Monica. <laughs> yeah. I love to say it like that instead of Monica or Monica. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Oh, I thought you were talking about it first. Dunno. But you're saying Monica. Monica, I know I'm saying it wrong now, but <clears throat> uh, sterling rope. Let's see, layer. It's like a layer, right? Layer. Oh, it's vintage. We'll put vintage. I've had it for like over 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I got a. Oh, look, it's almost the same one. Vintage double layer. How much do they got that one for? Sell one like this. They have it 1930s, 1980s. Um, what'd they say? Double layer twisted. That's right, like, like a meskin. <laughs> oh yeah. We got a lot of meskins in Texas. And that's everywhere, right? <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, camera, I'm not going to clean it. Some people love to clean jewelry. Uh, my old manager, she, uh, <clears throat> she's like, she told me one time, or I mean, she said it several times, she like has... You know how certain people like to sew? Well, she loves to clean jewelry. She's like, oh, yeah, girl. Anytime you got some jewelry you need cleaning, just bring it over. Like, she just loves to do it and polish it and stuff. I think that's awesome. To each his own, right? The only time I like to clean jewelry is with the James Avery wipe because it's so cool that it wipes off uh, black. It's crazy. Like, why can't you do that with all silver? Why does only James Avery <laughs> silver wipe off easy like it does? 
trying to get the 925 stamp in here. There it is. Okay, did I get it? Okay, so now I need to measure it. <clears throat> it's almost three inches. And I don't know how to say what the size is, so that's where my picture comes in. Just right. Oh, that wasn't good. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no, I did not hear that James Avery passed. His stuff is going up now in value. Man, that's crazy. You know what's even crazier and it's shocking? Um, well, I got my wedding ring, like, Typically, most people wouldn't share that, but I totally got my wedding ring at a pawn shop, right? Um, but my husband got his wedding ring at James Avery. Guess how much it cost? 50 bucks. Like, really? It's very rare that you find a ring for only $50, but to find a wedding band was even cooler. This week, Monday, I think. Dang, I didn't even hear anything about it. I saw a post today that Willie Nelson is sick and someone created a post and they want everybody to share it and say prayers for Willie Nelson. Um, but no, I did not know that James Avery passed away. That's pretty uh, kind of a big deal. James Avery jewelry is like the bomb. Freaking love it. Man, you're so full of knowledge, Monica. You are officially a moderator girl. Where is that link over here? I don't know if she wants to be, but if you ever don't want to be a moderator, just tell me and I'll remove you. But Monica Watson is officially a freaking moderator. <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> She's smart. Okay. Let's see. I needed to delete one of these. I don't think I really had to, but I'm going to. And I think I need one more picture. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Congratulations. Oh yeah, this picture is gonna be way better. Freaking tray is amazing, you guys you don't have one, you should get one. Look at this picture, watch. Well, freaking eBay won't let me click on it and make it bigger. <laughs> well, I mean, it's okay, but I guess the lighting could be a little better, but. Um, I'm about to list a James Avery right here, and I have a James Avery, a very old uh, angel charm here that I'm going to list. And then this one's Sterling, but I don't think this, this one isn't James Avery, but it is Sterling. It's a cute little Navajo earring. Cool. Good to know, Monica. So yeah, that picture, yeah, I just cropped it. It looks already better. That's going to be my main photo. I honestly don't think I'm doing the right size photos for eBay. I need to go watch a tutorial on that. I said that yesterday. I know. Sorry. Okay. Pre-owned 925 stamped bracelet. 
that's it guys. I'm not gonna do anything else. Remember the funniest eBay listing that I ever clicked on and I've said this before. It was the most funniest freaking eBay listing I ever seen in my life. And I put, clicked on it during a live video. When I clicked on some random listing, when you went into the description, all it said was, thanks for looking. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Like, that's all you have to say about your item for sale? Like, good luck selling it. <laughs> it You can, like, that is so simple. Like, you do not have to type out uh, freaking 50 lines on stuff. Like, maybe some people that are buying need that stuff, but you don't have to do it. So funny. I thought it was hilarious. I'll never forget it. I'll probably keep talking about it till the day I die on my reselling channel. Okay, so auction. <clears throat> I'm going to start this off at $25, $24.95 maybe. <sighs> 10 days. We'll do $5 shipping. And again, if it does not sell, I will go back and adjust everything when I relist it. I don't hit relist and just relist it for the same price. Thank you, Monica. Um, I like to change it up. That way, obviously, something was wrong with it the first time edit it, tweak it, maybe something you do will catch the eye the next go round. So I always relist stuff at least twice. And if it doesn't sell, then I just throw it in a garage sale or donate it. Already done. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> I loved your comment. Casey Lakeman said last night, I read it to my husband. It like, it really touched my heart, Casey. Um, it really did. I'll read the comment. She said, it's all cute. I'm going to embarrass her, but not really. Um, where's comments? <clears throat> uh, so Casey says in the video from yesterday, she says, I missed you again, dot, dot, dot. Really need to give you my number to text me. I don't know why I don't get your notices. I even belled you and everything. Ugh, she says, LOL. <laughs> so cute. I love it. It made my husband smile too. So thank you for the lovely comment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I loved it. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna list these two bracelets and then I'm done. I'm done. So done. So done. 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 I'll list the James Avery charm later. Is that my lipstick all everywhere? <sighs> hmm. I think I'm going to grab my James Avery cloth. Hold on. I can't even find it. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to list it just the way it has been. YouTube hasn't been notifying a lot of subs. Multi-channels have been saying the same thing. Uh, Casey says, I love to watch you live. You just crack me up. Makes my listing go faster. I hope so, because it sure does slow mine down, talking to me all. <laughs> but I enjoy it, so I do love it. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. Even some of the people that I do subscribe, when I try to hit the bell, I get an error message. It won't even let me 
um, click the bell. So maybe it's like Poshmark. You can't go and like too many brands. You have to remove yourself from some of them. So maybe I need to undo the bell on some of some of um, my YouTube channels and maybe I can click the ones that I want. Like I think Raken and both Bonafide. Let me show y'all. I'll pull it up. Y'all probably already know, right? Let me pull up. I wonder if Raken is like that too. I think he is. Yeah, watch. <clears throat> so you see Raken's channel? And if I tap the bell, I need to paint my nails, I know. Like, it won't tap. Like, it takes it off. And it's the same way for Bonafide. But then on some channels, it works. So, like, on Bonafide... I try to hit the bell. Usually it gives me an error message, but now it's just like, won't even, just unclicks it. So, I don't know, what the heck. Anybody have that problem with my channel? Nobody said so, so, I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm going to probably do a cell similar. Let's see, James, Avery... Bracelet, double heart. Oh my gosh, my tummy's about to growl. Bracelet, double heart. There we go. And I found the exact one. There's only one listed for $60 plus $15 shipping. I like it. YouTube is starting to act like Facebook ghosting. Wow, I haven't heard of that term, but I think I get what you're saying. I'm going to just auction mine off at $59.99, and I will do free shipping, and we'll auction it off for 10 days, and we'll see how it goes. I didn't get the notification of your live. I saw it in my subs feed when I saw it. Yeah, I was thinking um, this morning that maybe I should start posting my live videos on my Facebook resell page and maybe more people would see it. I don't know. I think I'm going to start that soon. Okay. So this is a buy it now or best offer. Will it let me do sell similar and change it to an auction? That is a question. Let's see. Sell one like this. Um, photos, camera. This is a tiny one. I really should clean it, you guys, but I'm not going to. <clears throat> you know why? Because somebody like my friend is going to love to clean it, right? <laughs> like it, it's really like a pleasure to clean James Avery if there's one jewelry I would want to clean I already said this it would be this I just rather get it listed and not put it off I have a really nice wipey somewhere the cloth James Avery cloth at least I'll save it, right? Save it for my jewelry. Come on. Almost. There it is. This is my personal bracelet. Um, I've had this forever. Oh, you know where I got this? I got this when I first moved into this house almost six years ago. And the lady across the street, her mom was a nurse. And they had a garage sale. And I'm pretty sure I paid about ten bucks for this thing. If not, it was five. But it may have been ten. <clears throat> 
I am going to measure again, even though it's bendable and you know can fit one size, it is still kind of small. It's like for small wrists. Yeah, it's like right at two and a half inches wide the way I'm looking at it, measuring it. Tummy, yeah. Come on. Yeah, let them clean it. It's so pleasurable. Like I said, it's literally very pleasurable to watch someone or even clean it yourself. James Avery is the best. <clears throat> okay, so I did sell similar. So let me read the title. James Avery Sterling Silver Double Heart Clasp Bangle Bracelet. Got it. Sounds good. Pre-owned just needs to be cleaned. So auction fifty nine ninety five. Show more for ten days. <clears throat> Oh man, I hate when I hit the X button on the all the stuff I pre-filled and I closed it out and have to start over. Done, 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 done. Yay! We did some work today, guys. I gotta get new tires on my car. You know that's gonna cost like freaking like $1,500 to even get tires on a freaking Forerunner SUV. Um, the only reason why I do auctions is when you're not sure, like, I don't know. I really like buy it now, but on the auction, I just like to see how high can it go? You never know. Like, you can totally underprice something. I can price that for $59.95, buy it now, right now. But like you said, Monica, I mean, James Avery died this week, so, or passed away, to be more nicer wording on that. Um, you never know. So that's why I had said earlier, I always have a two go round. So if the auction doesn't work on this, the way I have it now, <clears throat> either one, I'll reduce the price or two, I'll flip it to a buy it now. Like on this one, <clears throat> for sure, I'll never donate James Avery. So this kind of thing will be relisted multiple times until I will wait for the right buyer. Unless I got, uh, you know, like a best offer or something, I do accept best offers. But <clears throat> you just got to tweak it, you know, two to three times and see how it works. So that's how I see it. So this last piece, um, I don't know what it is, but it's, oh, what did someone say? Alpaca was a Navajo silver who told me that was it monica or someone else someone typed the alpaca i believe what they said was that it's like a navajo silver and not necessarily sterling but i'll tell you what this sure does look sterling silver to me but alpaca is what it's stamped with <laughs> Monica says, okay, I'm going to change my listings because they have been up for a month and I think people are wanting till the sale is getting, waiting till the sale is getting ready to end. Yeah, that they usually do wait till the end. So 
definitely let it wait till the end of that cycle and then relist it a different way or try it a different way. Just don't keep doing the same thing over and over. If it didn't sell for $49.95, don't just keep relisting it 20 times. You need to do something different. You know what I mean? And, and no lie, I have had stuff where I listed it one way and then when it ended, it didn't sell. I relisted another and it sold. So it, it works. And I've had like a big snow uniform ski full body thing listed. And I had it relisted a couple different times, but I always flipped it, changed the price and edited it. And by golly gee, I did get a $50 offer finally. So it works. <clears throat> Alpaca. This is the first time I've ever really seen alpaca, alpaca jewelry. So, alpaca. Um, bracelet. And what is that called in there? That pearl stone. Does anybody know? It's got to have a name, right? I would have put pearl accent. And then the black is like, I don't even know how to describe it. Enamel, but I don't know if it is enamel. Anybody know what to call that pearl stone look? <clears throat> it almost is like, oh, I don't know. Look at the orange in it on that side. Mother of pearl, is that really? Cool. I think so. I think you're right. I'm not thinking. Enlaid mother of pearl. Yay. Thank you guys. See, <clears throat> honestly, that's embarrassing that I didn't know mother of pearl because mother of pearl is so common. I mean, you see this all over the place in the nineties. Um, but I honestly didn't know that that's what that was called. Um, I just learned that glass, the milk glass, what that color is. So I'm learning. So yeah, that's cool. Mother of Pearl. That would make sense. I've heard people talk about it. Seashell. It does look like it. So which is it? A seashell or Mother of Pearl? Or it's the same thing? So it's the inside of the seashell? Because that's what it looks like. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Like, that's so fun. <laughs> I'm such a blonde, right? Such a dork. Is that what that mother of pearl means? It's the inside of the seashell? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. I feel like such a loser right now, though. Mother of pearl. Should I type in the word seashell too, or just mother of pearled? Pearl, inlay, inlay, mother of pearl. Oh, I didn't want to hit the cancel button. Don't. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start over. So alpaca. Now I didn't know that, you guys. Alpaca. Alpaca, silver, bracelet, to fill it all the way. Yeah, I always use as many keywords as possible. I never just type alpaca, mother of pearl bracelet. Like, I got to keep going. It's silver, it's pearly, it's chevron, it's zigzag. <laughs> Get it all up in there. <laughs> uh, alpaca, silver, bracelet, mother of pearl, enlay. How would you spell enlay? E-N-N-L-A-Y. Jet colored, jet colored, the heck is jet colored? Zigzag and my zig zag. I don't think I can fit too many words left. Oh, they're still. Oh no! Create new listing. <clears throat> inlaid. Not inlay, inlaid. Okay. I have enough room for that. Inlay. Auto typing tried to put inlay. Enlaid. What does enlaid mean? 
black jet is a natural stone. Ooh, look at that car. I like the blue. It's like the water. Black jet is a natural stone. Okay. Black jet. I got all the keywords up in there. Hmm. Very cool. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what this is worth. I didn't even look up the comps. I'll just list it at, oh, I'll probably do $29.95 on this one auction and maybe do charge shipping. But a lot of times if I charge shipping and this doesn't sell, I'll go back and offer free shipping on the next relist. Not the first one, but the next one. I know, this is not working out for me. I know. I believe this bracelet also came from the same uh, jewelry bag that I did a video on. Channel setting is another word for inlet. Yeah, nope. See, I don't know nothing about no channel setting. Those are new to me. You're teaching me too much. My brain hurts. I freaking love it, though. I really do. Channel setting. I don't know nothing about that. I barely learned, um, what did I say? Uh, enamel, that something that I sold had something kind of like this. It had, it was enamel filled. <laughs> she said, LOL. Yeah, my brain hurts. I need a lunch break now. <laughs> I learned too much today. Um, yeah, some stuff that's enameled. I learned that. Ooh, I got a real good picture of the alpaca engraving. <clears throat> okay. And that's it, guys. Just going to submit this and then I am done for this morning. All I got to do is ship that Calvin Klein dress that the payment went through. And I am headed to go shopping. I guess I'll stop by my favorite little Goodwill thrift store by the house, like I've been doing regularly, and go look for some jewelry. See if they throw out any new jewelry bags. That's one reason why I keep going back there is I would love to get another jewelry bag for 20 bucks. Or 25 even. That'd be good with me. These pictures came out great. Let me show you guys. So I hate how you have to tap on it. So there's one. Uh, there's two. Okay, thank you, Monica. Yeah, we definitely get ticks real bad. The dogs do. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all that one. Uh, here's the alpaca engraving. You can totally see it up in there. And then I kind of took one at the angle. You can really see the beautiful silver like that. So that's nice. Definitely always take angles as well when you're looking for gold and silver. I learned off YouTube you need to rotate your items. Um, and you can see your engravings better if you'll rotate it in the light. That's how you can see your markings. So, yeah, yeah, guys, that's all. <laughs> I was laughing at a YouTuber who does hamster videos when I picked up my 11-year-old from school yesterday. I was watching her video because it was new and it was what she feeds her hamster. Um, <laughs> and uh, she's so cute. On every video that she ends with, she says, yeah, guys, so that's it. Or she just says, yeah, guys. <laughs> this is so freaking funny. Anyways, I wonder what I do, <laughs> like that I always say in every single video.
Anywho, I hope everybody had fun. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the drop down box, drop down in the comment box below. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe my channel and I would love to subscribe your channel back. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hope everyone has a fabulous Thursday. It is Thursday, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. Look, I didn't even, I didn't even publish my bracelet yet. I'm not done. But anyways, have a great day and we'll see you guys later, maybe today for a haul. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Bye-bye.